So what you don't want is the dedication on an opposite page. You want it on the front page. So typically what you would want is, is a blank page, the, the copyright page, then you'd want another, then you'd want the title, then you want the copyright page, or well, at least that's, that's the way I want, I would want it, I wouldn't want it to be like this, this is a mess, this is so shoddy, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this, and <laughs> What I wouldn't want is part one, Dangerous Ground, to be like three sentence structure above uh, chapter one, every day is like Sunday. And then look how it's all double spaced. And trust me, there's plenty of, um, there's plenty of typos, mistakes. I, I got to page, I got to page 100 and the plot was still about some teenagers trying to steal a script from, or not a script, a, a research project for school from a student named Fletcher. And I don't know if Brad thinks his content is that funny. Like, if his dialogue, he's, he's trying to be Tarantino. But he he doesn't have the ability or or skill set. Um, I quit at one twenty um, because I, I just I'm wasting my life reading this, and the 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 payoff was not going to be anything worth it. I was really excited about getting this. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be fun and exciting, um, but you, you know he 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 even says here um, it's a loving tribute to high school comedies, which is all I'm getting so far, mind you, at at 120 pages, um, Cold War thrillers, post-apocalyptic adventure, and slasher horror. I mean, just pick one of those, that would be fine. You you could pick a Cold War thriller. And post-apocalyptic adventure together, you could probably do that. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, high school comedy and a slasher. I mean, we've seen Steve, um, we've seen student bodies. So, yeah. Sorry, this is my first review of a book. So, I, I, I'm, I'm a little, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, only that from publishing books myself, I know what to do and what not to do. And, you, you know, I, I really just think he had typos. He, he just wrote it together. He didn't think much of it, threw it together. It's a, it's a whim. And I know it was a script that he had been working on for a while. Um... Or he, it was a script he had written back in, in when he was in uh, in his teenager years, and he wanted to revisit it. But this is something that happens when a writer of screenplays tries to write a novel. They they don't know what they're talking about. The formatting is really important, and it just it makes the book ugly. It it it, it just does. All the chapters, everything is double spaced like. You're handing in a, a a high school report, which is not what I'm thinking he wanted to do. Um, it, it's it's just a mess all around. I I, I, I can't recommend this um, at all whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, that's just my review of Brad Jones's class of '86. Um, I, I've seen. I'm gonna give a caveat here. I've seen books with other fucking. Uh, I've I've seen his book with other um, covers. So if this is a new edition or something, and it, something got messed up, then then 
I apologize, and I, I would of course take down this video, but as it is right now, it's it's just it's ugly to read. It's it, it's it's just an ugly book. It's unfinished. It's rough. Um, the story drags on forever. Uh, I can't wait to never read this again. Like when I'm done with this, I've never thrown out a book before, but I'm really tempted to throw out this book. Um, <laughs> cause it's, it's that bad to me. It's that it's, it's offensive. Um, but like I said, if, if this is a, an edition that got messed up somehow, then I'm sorry, but I, I just, I can't see how that's possible. And even with that, the story is just atrocious and boring and I, I don't like it. So I give class of 86 a half a star. Thank you for watching. Bye.